Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Digging with Seven. Today, I'm going to take this Knock to Macro Pulse Dive. Uh, we're going to unbox it. We're going to look at all the components that it has. And then, I'm here at the lake. Then we're going, we're going to do some air tests and things on different items. Then I'm going to take this thing out on the lake. I'm excited about using this. But let's open up the box. Let's see what's in there. Uh, it is a pulse inductive unit. It's two in one. It is a dive detector, but it's also a pinpointer. And uh, you see the case that comes with it. And let me open up this case where you can see all of the stuff in there, all the components you can see. Uh, right now it has the dive detector uh, coil on it. Good size right here. Let me turn the thing on. And uh, it has a, it has the sound and vibration. You, I can feel it vibrating here. But you can change that. I'm just on vibration now, and it's picking up uh, the camera. But you can go between those two. That's just sound only. But then this is sound and vibration, so that's nice. And then the, it has another button. Got three buttons. This one here turns it on. This one here changes the mode, and then this one here uh, turns the light on, and you can see the light right there. And I need to, uh, I'll put it on vibrate so it doesn't bother you. Here's the light right here. So that will be nice in the water, uh, because sometimes you know it can get dark there. But now watch this. It is a two-in-one. This is the dive detector that he's on, and uh, you see these little notches here that have to line up. You you take that off, and it has the pin pointer attachment here, and then you got a pin pointer, and I've got it on vibrate, and you can turn the sensitivity up with this uh, last knob as well, and it comes with a. Uh, comes with a pouch that will clip right onto your belt. Uh, all of the charging cables are in there, everything that you need. Uh, you even get a uh, you even get a knock to macro armband, which is a nice addition to that as well. So there it is. Let's get this thing, let's do some air tests first. And uh, then let's go and uh, get out on the light, get down in the water and see what this baby does. To turn the pulse dive on, you press the on and off button on the far left once to turn the device on. A beep will be heard and the LEDs will light up according to the battery life status. If the red and green LEDs blink once, that means the battery is full. The green LED will blink once if the battery is half full, and the red LED blinks once if the battery is empty. The Pulse Dive has three detection modes. It has audio, or vibration, or a combination of audio and vibration. You can change these by pressing the F or Function button. The Pulse Dive also has a red LED that will blink whenever you get close to metal, and the closer you get, the more it will blink. You can turn this red LED on or off by pressing and holding the A button or Adjust button. There are five levels of sensitivity that you can adjust by pressing the Adjustment or A button while holding down the Function button. Each time you press the A button, the sensitivity increases by one level. Each level is indicated by a number of beeps and vibrations. For example, level four will have four beeps or vibrations. At maximum sensitivity level, which is five, the device will emit a long beep or vibration. The Pulse Dive also has a LED flashlight. To activate the flashlight, press and hold the A button while the device is on. Press it again to turn it off. The Pulse Dive also has a dive mode if you're diving in deep water, which will keep the water pressure from changing or pressing on the buttons. To get it into dive mode, hold the device upside down with the LEDs facing down. 
press the A and F buttons simultaneously. The green light will light up and a beep will be heard and the device will either beep or vibrate depending on what mode that you're in. In dive mode, the device will not detect any targets while you hold it upside down. It will detect targets whenever you flip it over and hold it the right way. You can repeat these steps to exit the dive mode. Here are the items that I'm gonna check. I've got a silver quarter, silver dime, 10 karat gold ring, 10 karat gold ring with a break in the band, a silver and gold ring, a lead barrel weight, and a bigger lead weight. Silver dime. About two and three quarter. Silver quarter. About three and a quarter. Gold ring. About three. Gold ring with a break in the band on it. Almost doesn't get it. Gold and silver ring. About four. Lead barrel weight. About four and a half. And then the big lead weight. About five and a half, five and three quarter.
In my use of the pulse dive here at the lake, I found that if you're on hard rock or hard pan, that it's easy to clear all the debris out of the way and whatever that you detected will be exposed. But it's not that easy if you have a lot of large broken rock, which I do in some spots here. In that case, the pulse dive just replaces your normal detector and you may still have to use a pinpointer to locate the target that you're hearing. You can switch the pulse dive between the dive detecting attachment and the pinpointing attachment, but you cannot do that underwater. My final evaluation of the pulse dive is that it is a great alternative to taking a full size detector into the water. As I mentioned, sometimes with the bottom content, if you have a lot of large broken rock there, it may be hard to pinpoint with the pulse dive and you may have to use an additional pinpointer, but you would have to do that anyway with a normal detector. Nocta Micro Pulse Dive, a two-in-one unit. It is a pulse inductive dive detector with this attachment on. It is a pulse inductive pinpointer with this attachment on. I will leave links in the description of this video so that you can go and check out the Nocta Micro Pulse Dive.